During this video, you will learn how to edit crystal designs. First, let's work through the wizard. Create New is automatically selected when you open DesignWorks software. Simply click Next. Fabric is not an issue in um, a crystal design, so just press Next. And we want a blank screen for designing, so place a radio dot in front of New Graphic and click Finish. To create a file that will allow us to bypass the wizard, let's go ahead and select File, Save As. We're going to name this file blank, and you can navigate to the location to save this file. If you want to place it in your Bernina DesignWorks sample folder, find the file path and simply click Save. Now the next time you need to open a blank design screen, you'll just select File Open and navigate to this blank file and therefore bypass the wizard. It's much easier than working your way through the wizard. Now let's get on to the crystals. There are many ways to edit a crystal design once it is created and we're going to use the shapes tools to draw some shapes and then edit these shapes to apply your crystals. First of all, let's create a trapezoid. And remember that if I want to create a perfect circle, I will hold down the control key as I draw that circle. And how about a pie shape? And a square shape as well as a rectangle. And let's create one more shape. So after you create these shapes, if you'll look in the palettes, you can see that there is a black stitched outline around the shapes and the fill is a painted fill. And these are the default settings anytime you add or use the drawing tools to draw a shape. So let's press the space bar. That will automatically select the select tool. And let's begin, let's say, let's begin with the trapezoid. When you select it, you'll notice that in the Fill tab, you see the painted fill. And in the Outline tab, you have a running stitch. We, uh, for this, I want to go back to the fill and let's delete the fill. We're going to just make a crystal outline. So click on the Outline tab and click on crystals. And this will automatically add crystals around that shape. As far as editing, you can in the object properties, and I'm gonna just click and drag to make this object properties a little bit larger, we can edit by changing the offset. And the offset will alter the distance the crystals are from the drawn object. It can be either a positive value or a negative value. So if I wanted my crystals to be a little bit further away, I will input a number and press enter and you can see how the crystals moved slightly. I also can increase the spacing of the crystals and just by clicking on the up arrow or I can actually swipe that and put a new value in. So it was very quick and easy to create this crystal outline. Let's move this out of the way and the next shape that we're going to do is the star. Now with the star, um, again, you have a running stitch that we want to get rid of and let's go to the fill and add a crystal fill. You can see that the crystal fills have several different types of fits. The shape fit is the default shape for the crystal fill, but you also have other types and you can just click on these to get kind of a preview of how they will work with the particular shape that you have selected. So let's go back to the shape fit this is probably the most appropriate type of fit for the star shape. And 
we've got size 16 crystals. Another thing we can do to alter the crystal fill is to change the size of the crystals. And just by clicking on the different sizes, you get a preview of how that is going to look. If I want to use this small size 6 and change the offset, in this case, let's try a negative number, and you can see how the crystals set in slightly to that shape. If you click away, it'll give you a good preview of how that crystal design is going to look. Next, let's choose the rectangle, the long skinny, and again, in the outline, we're going to delete the outline and add a crystal fill. And let's choose a larger size crystal. Now with this, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, and if I want to alter the size of that shape, you can see that by altering the size of the shape that I have created, I'm going to get a little bit different look. That is a shape fit. Well, let's try a single line, and this will give me a single line of crystals. I can also change the color simply by clicking on a new color in Object Properties, and that will automatically update the colors of the crystals. Let's go to the rectangle next, and with this, again, the same steps. I don't want that running stitch around the rectangle, so I'll click None, and in the Fill, I click on Crystal Fill. Let's alter the spacing. I'm going to try 4 and 4, and again, the software will automatically update. And let's see what we get when we choose a new size. Now you'll notice that there are um, some visual marks within this shape, and you can visually change the spacing. Um, we'll cover that in a later video. The circle shape, again the same steps, we'll delete the outline around it and add our crystal fill. Again, the default is the shape fit. But let's try a circular fit. And you can see that the circular fit is appropriate for circles. Now, in the circular fill, we can change the number of steps. It means the number of crystals from the center out. So let's make it four. And you can see that it automatically updated. Let's say that we want to delete this center crystals. In order to delete the crystals, we have to first separate the crystals and then ungroup the crystals. Before you do anything, it's always best to save it. And we're going to do File, Save As, and let's just call this Crystal Design Unseparated and click Save. The reason you want to save it before separating is that if you want to come back and change the crystal size, it makes it much easier to open that original file rather than the separated file. You'll see what happens when we click on Separate to Crystals. Notice that in your Sequence Manager, you have individual crystals now shown from the circular layer. The second step before we can delete any crystals would be to right click and ungroup the crystals. That will allow me to come in and select and delete individual crystals. Now let's put a crystal of a different color and size in the center of this group. To add individual crystals, you'll select Create Crystal Shape. And you'll notice that in the tool options, I can choose the color as well as the size of the crystal. So let's choose a different color and a different size. Now I have a crystal that's attached to my mouse and I can click and add crystals in the manner that I want to add them. If I select that, 
and draw a bounding box, I can then move that where it is more in the center. If I want to get it exactly in the center, I'd want to group the yellow crystals as, and then group the blue crystals, and then I can use my center vertical and center horizontal to get that perfectly in the center. One last shape, and that is our pie shape. Again, we will delete the outline and add a fill. Now, let's make this slightly smaller and change it to a contour fit. Again, I'm going to change the size because I want to show you something else that you may experience when you work with crystal designs. You can see that these two crystals are have yellow X's. And if you go to your view menu and make sure you have a check mark by overlapping crystals, any crystals that are too close together are going to show with a yellow X. Now when I zoom in, you can see that it's not actually the crystals that are touching, but the outline of the crystal. And that is actually what punches on the template. So when the crystal outlines touch, you'll have a yellow X. When the crystals themselves actually touch, you'll see a red X. So regardless of whether you have red or yellow, they are too close and you will want to edit this. So I will again have to separate these um, crystals. So with the object selected, I click on separate, separate to crystals, and then I will right click and ungroup the crystals. I can then select that individual one and delete it. And I can move these by clicking on the crystal and then moving along the, um, the outline that surrounds the crystal and create the shape in that way. Now to save this design, I'll do File, Save As, and I'm going to call this Crystal Design Separated. And that is a lesson on how to edit crystal designs.